All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we're here with the Pokemon Sword and Shield All of Armor Ranked Doubles video, and today I'm here with a team that I used a little bit ago. I used like a little like before Series Six started. It was an Orbeetle and Gengar team, and it worked out pretty well. But it did have a uh, Indeedy on it because it was there for like Psychic Terrain for Expanding Forest, but now Indeedy is banned. So this is an updated team. It's very cool. Hopefully it works out. The strategy should work out. I think maybe better this season because there's no Incineroar, which was actually like, a big issue for it. So anyway, yeah, this is the team, and I will be back when I get into the first battle. Okay, so they have a little bit of a rain combo with the Politoed and the Dreadnought. Probably G-Max Dreadnought, I had to guess, so there's gonna be Stealth Rocks, which is really annoying. Um, I think it's Stealth Rocks, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, they have Zarina, which is very good for them. Uh, well, good for me, I guess, because they have Orbeetle. I'm thinking I just go Gengar Orbeetle. I'm a little bit worried about Talonflame, but I don't see it doing enough damage to warrant me being concerned. So, I'm going to go with that, I think. I'm going to bring Dracozole in the back, and I think Talonflame is my only real option here. Oh, but I really, really need Zarina as well for the rain combo. But I also have Dracozole for that, so it's like... I think I'd rather have Talonflame for both speed control and also dealing with the, uh, the Zarina, because otherwise, I... Actually, I could deal with Zarina. I could deal with Zarina without Talonflame, but I also want the speed control. Uh, I don't know. I want both really badly. <laughs> I really do want both. Triple Axel is so nice for that Gengar as well. Or, Gengar, for the Gengar, for the Gudra. And they don't really beat it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with Zarina. They don't really beat it without, um... Without, uh... Their own talent flame. Other than that, they have such a big issue with Serena. Dope character, nice trainer card, nice. Dope. I'm about to crush you though, so you know it is what it is. It's all blue. Dope. Clefairy Gudra. Okay, so this is like Togekiss Dragapult, but it's for Series Six. Shiny Clefairy, not bad. Um, the Follow Me is actually kind of annoying. Eviolite, yeah, and Assault Vest. Because okay, so they are Assault Vest, they're probably going to max Flare or Beetle. So I am going to Sludge Bomb Clefairy and max Gravitas, attempting to hit Gudra. Because next turn, I can Hypnosis the Gudra if they don't max Lightning. So I should be in a really good spot here. If they max Flare me, I should live it. I would imagine. I would be just fine. Because, like, what's the... That's the only thing they can really go for, right, is max Flare? Because they... If they're special, they could be physical, but I doubt it, because they don't have uh, any Grass-type users. Well, they have Zarina, but no, like, Kumpei for Giga Drain. Alright. So, yeah, if they're special, Max Flare is the only thing that would concern me. Max Lightning would be really annoying, too, because then I can't put them to sleep, but something tells me they're not going to go for that. Although, what would really suck is if I KO Clefairy this turn, and they go into, uh into Talonflame and go for the Tailwind. Because then they would outspeed my uh, my Gengar. They God! That's not terrible, but it's annoying. Not terrible, but it's kind of annoying. Could've hit myself, could've Sucker Punch, would've been great. Their Assault Fest is gonna do like zero damage. They're floating, are they floating? Were they floating? They were just floating. Did anyone else see that? Were they floating? Was the Gucci just floating off the ground? Is that a thing? Am I crazy? I'm crazy, Never mind. Gengar, Gengar. Tough, buddy, tough. Okay, now I'm in a predicament. <laughs> now I don't have my boost that I wanted. I should have just gone for the Sucker Punch, because the Gravitas would have probably KO'd Clefairy. It's not very bulky. Uh-oh. Um... I don't think they have much reason to follow me here. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch into Orbeetle. I'm going to try it, and we're going to see what happens. And I'm going to go for the Gravitas into the... Into the Clefairy, if I'm being honest. That did nothing to Gudra. Jesus. Okay. And they do follow me. Okay, that's fine. I didn't really want that to happen, but whatever. I was considering running um, safety goggles on Gengar. I probably should have because it would be really. Wait, that wouldn't have mattered here. Never mind. It's not Rage Powder. I'm stupid. Ignore, ignore me. I'm just dumb. I'm just stupid. I should have sludge bombed my Gengar. Bro, I'm so mad. I'm so upset. This didn't go my way in the slightest. I just wanted this to go my way. It didn't go my way at all. Clefairy sucks. Follow me is annoying. I hate Clefairy. God dang it. Next season, they should ban. Um. 
All right direction. Ban Rage Powder and Ban Follow Me. I hate them. They're annoying. I do have the gravity up. I do think my Drake result will outspeed their Gudra based on the damage that I did. I also know Zarina will. I think so anyway. I'm gonna go Drake Result. Wait. Does Orbital outspeed Drake Result? Hold on. I don't think so. I don't think so. There's not a chance. No way. No! Okay. A little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm actually gonna protect Drake Result this turn and knock out the Clefairy. Don't protect, bro. Please don't protect. Okay, I think I'm good. Don't protect. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. Okay, we're good. That's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So, next turn, I'm pretty sure I outspeed the Gudra, and I can deal with them then. Because the gravity should still be active. Clefairy's gone. That's nice and all, but... Is it enough? I didn't get my boost. I didn't get anything. They go for the max ooze. They probably hit... Why'd they go for max ooze? And not max warm wind? That would have... That could have cost you. Oh, because you were... Because of the follow me, right? Makes sense. They're plus two Gudra, dude. I have an issue with this right now. I have a huge problem right now. Talon Flame. Yikes! That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Everything is not going my way. It's not going my way. But next turn, this turn they have to um, if they have Draco Meteor, they have to Draco Meteor. Um, Draco's on the KO. And I could high horse power the talent flame. I could bolt big the talent. Is bolt big still super effective? It is, but this is also super effective because they're not on the ground because they're because of gravity. I'm just gonna go for the dragon claw into Gudra. Hope it lands. And I'm gonna go for trick room. I think I want to go for Trick Room. That would only be bad for me if they had... Actually, I don't even think that would be bad for me. I'm going to go for Trick Room this turn. Unless they don't KO Drake Result somehow, but yeah, they're going to go for Tailwind. That's, that's really good. That's really, really good. Alright. They, they do Draco Meteor into Drake Result. Nice. That's I mean, that's not nice for me, don't get me wrong, but... I should have protected, I guess. That would have made... Well, I, I think I already... Yeah, no, it would have just been a double protect. Probably would have failed. But I should have tried for it. It would have been smarter. Alright, Trick Room. And here comes the comeback, gamers! Where I don't actually win because they have priority on their talent. That doesn't work on me, though. Never mind. I have Queenly Majesty. Suck it, nerd! Haha! <laughs> okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this for sure. I can do it. I have to triple Axel U. I have to. Um... And I'm just going to spam Psychic into Talonflame. You're going to try and go for the Brave Bird. It's not going to work because you're dumb. Low IQ. Small brain. Never mind. They didn't go for it. They didn't go for it. 50% not bad. Not bad. So then I have no priority anyway. And Triple Axle. Not bad. Land. 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 Let's go. Kale. No. So close. Okay. So I'm going to take a Sludge Bomb. And probably a Brave Bird. Uh, do I live? Do I live? Or not a uh, Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Do I live? Do I live? Do I live? Please live. Please live. Hit Orbital. Hit Orb Orbital. Tough. Tough. Okay. Not the greatest time in the world, but I I have to get rid of the uh, the Talon Flame right now. I can't afford to let Gudra hit me. Or hit let Talon Flame hit me, though. So the Gudra can hit me just fine. I'm... Fine with that. I'm probably still gonna lose, but I could try. I can hope. If their last is Zarina, I can go for Bug Buzz and probably do decent damage because the Assault Vest is on Gudra, so there's no issue there. Orbital is kinda bulky, so I think. Oh, they do have Flamethrower, though. That activates my policy, though! And they're okay, okay, okay. Whatever the last Pokemon is, it has to miss. It has to be Zarina and it has to miss. Actually, that wouldn't even matter, would it? Because they are. they'd be slower than me. I think. Maybe. I have no speed investment, so maybe not. Serena. Hmm. I have to KO Gudra. I have no other option. So I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz. It doesn't make a difference. Into Gudra. And the Zarina has to miss. 
Or just not have a move that can hit me. If they only have grass moves, then it might be good as well. But Zarina, all of its moves miss. So, that's my... Oh, I'm... Okay, I am slower. I'm slower than Zarina. I need you to miss. But you could have protect because there's no assault vest. That can miss. It can still miss. No, they... That sucks. Okay, I, I also landed all three, so I can't really say anything. But... That's tough. Oh, they could have missed all three of those times, and it would have been so good. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. I think the team did well. I think I did stupid. Uh, with the I played really stupidly against the Clefairy. If I got rid of it sooner, it was fine, but unfortunate. Anyway, I am going to be back when I get into the next battle. Okay, this person has a Raichu. It's kind of not that big of a deal, actually, because Gengar cannot be faked out. Um, They have no redirection, which is really, really nice. I think I can still use Sucker Punch on myself if they have Queenly Majesty. Uh, honestly, Orbital Gengar is phenomenal here. Like, I, I don't see much of an issue with it. I'm a little bit worried about Lapras because I can't really do much to it, but I have Drake Result for that, so. Gengar Orbital, I think. I'm going to bring Drake Result in the back, and I think Talon Flame or, Z or my Lodicar Zarina, obviously. Um, I think Zarina is the best bet here because I have Fighting Move for Duraldon, Ice Move for Zarina, Flying Move for Urshifu or Grass if it's Water type. Uh, Raichu is Raichu. Talon Flame sucks, though, but I do have Drake Result, and it can also hit Lapras. My Lodic would help with nothing in particular, maybe maybe just the uh, the Talon Flame, and Talon I should have led with my Lodic last game, by the way, because I had Brutal Swing. Um, and Talon Flame helps with speed control, which is kind of really important here, and also can deal with the Zarina. But so can I with the with Gengar and Orbeetle. I'm conflicted. I love being conflicted. Screw it, dude, Zarina. Zarina's dope. Also, like, it, Zarina kind of works. Like, it kind of benefits from gravity because all of its moves can miss. Like, Power Whip, High Jump Kick, Triple Axle, and uh, Bounce all have a decent chance to miss. So, the gravity also helps it. Because for those that are unaware, gravity um, increases the accuracy of moves. As well as making, like, flying Pokemon grounded and whatnot. So, yeah, it's dope. Lapras Raichu, okay, so you were, for some reason, worried about Dracozol. Imagine, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, buddy. You were worried about the wrong Pokemon. Life Orb Lapras and Focus Sash Raichu, okay. So, a Life Orb. Uh, I think Raichu is faster than Gengar, maybe they're the same speed, I'm not sure. But I am just gonna go for the Sucker Punch into Orbeetle, and go for the Max Gravitas into, or go for Flutterby. I'm gonna go for Flutterby into the, um... The Lapras. I'm expecting either a fake out into Orbeetle or a um a nuzzle into Gengar. But the the, the er, wait. Or they could also nuzzle Orbeetle, I guess. But I'm hoping they fake out Orbeetle. That'd be ideal. Maybe expect like a trick room for some reason with my really, really fast team. Dope character, by the way. Black and purple is dope. Alright, so I'm faster than them, but they are, obviously. Because they are Lapras and very slow. Hit him with the yaw. Yeet! Let's go, gigantic UFO or beetle! Unidentified flying or beetle! Alright, bro, what you doing? You Dynamaxing? Yeah, you are! Imagine! Who Dynamaxes Lapras turn one? Ha ha ha! But they're life orb, not policy, so I don't have to worry about them, like... I guess they could... Thundershock themselves <laughs> To... To get the policy activated, that's technically an option. That would actually be kind of cool! Like, you, like, Thundershock with Raichu to, or something like that, that'd be dope! Get myself... Policy activated, special attack is dropping. Well, mine's raising, but theirs is dropping. I'm in a pretty decent spot here, I'm hoping they don't hit the Gengar, let's go! It did not hit Gengar. Let's go. I don't care. Don't get fully paralyzed and we're good to go. Oh, but the Lapras is faster than Orbeetle now. Tough. Okay, so they get the, the, the resonance up. That's not what I was wanting. That nuzzle was actually huge for them. Um, That's annoying, but I can handle it. That's good damage. And they also lowered their stats. Oh, that's really annoying. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go for the Hypnosis now into, I think, the Raichu. Or maybe the Lapras. 
I just don't want to get paralyzed on Gengar. Before I can... I also don't want them to max lightning for whatever reason. I'm going to go for the Hypnosis into the Lapras. I think. Or the Raich... Ah, they both work. I'm going to go into Lapras. And I'm going to hit it with the... Oh, I didn't Gravitas. In that case, it's going to be a YOLO Hypnosis. And I'm going to Gravitas the Raichu. It'll bring them to Sash. They probably nuzzle Gengar here anyway. They help in hand, actually, which is very not bad for me. Although they probably don't KO Orbeetle, please. Land, 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 Gengar! 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 Buddy, buddy, me and you gotta have a talk next game. Let me tell you. Next game, we're gonna have a discussion. Or before next game, we're gonna have a discussion about how you land your hypnosis when they matter the most. That'd be great if you did that. Alright, well, I gravitas you. The hypnosis didn't miss, which really sucks, but... Alright, she was low. That wouldn't have even KO'd. That didn't even bring them to Sash. I'm plus two. The Veil is stupid. They're max HP, though. They have to be. Hmm. I'm just gonna Hypnosis the Lapras again. I, I can't let them hit me. And... Do I care about the Raichu right now? It's kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. I can sucker punch it next turn. I'm gonna go for the Gravitas into the Lapras. Yeah. That's very large brain! And I should have expected that. They also didn't KO Orb Beetle, so I'm not even that worried right now. I'm really not worried, actually. Hold on. Unless they bring out something magical that outspeeds Gengar, I don't care. I'm not that I'm not that stressed out right now. I should have fluttered by that turn though, because I already had gravity. Alright, so they, that's um about that thing that outspeeds uh, <laughs> outspeeds Gengar. Uh, they they might have uh, they might have found something. Just just saying. So my sucker punch would fail if I hit them, but I am focus ash, so that's very important to note. But my war beetle probably dies. I don't imagine a world where war beetle lives this turn. So my goal is to focus the Talon Flame because Zarina can handle and Dracozil can handle the um the Lapras. So my goal is to just hit this this Talon Flame. Or I can hypnosis it. If they have muddy water or surf, by the way, that sucks. No, surf would actually not be a big deal, but muddy water would be annoying if he even gets it. Cause Gengar does get a move off guarantee this turn, because I am uh I am sashed. Um, I'm gonna hypnosis the Lapras and psychic the Lapras as well. Maybe not the best bet, but I was hopeful. I was hopeful they wouldn't do that. I was hopeful they would hit Gengar. Oh, I'm faster still. Suck it, nerd. Slow as dirt. Trash. Let's go. Really good turn, actually. I did not expect to be faster still. Let's go. Okay. Really good, really good, very good, super dope, love to see it. Nice. Psychic, big damage, plus two. Good enough. They're, that, that was their turn of sleep, that was their turn of sleep. Um, They're probably going to KO Orbeetle this turn. Do I have Zarina? Now hear me out. <laughs> If they go for a flying move, the Queenly Majesty will block it. <laughs> so I'm going to Psychic into the... I think Lapras again. I'm not really worried. They're minus one. I'm going to go into Talon Flame. I don't care much about Lapras right now. I don't care. I'm not worried. I could have gone for Trick Room, I guess. That would have made sense. They do go for the Brave Bird. Queenly Majesty. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> Trash. So the Queenly Majesty makes them not able to use it, so that would make it so... That would do this- okay, so that means... Maybe I wouldn't be able to go for the, uh... What am I thinking of? The, um, the Sucker Punch when the Zarina is on the field? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for the... Uh, Gravity is still up right now. I'm gonna go for the Power Whip into Lapras, and I'm gonna go for the... Trick Room. They have Heat Wave! Okay. So, they are not running Flare Blitz, which is actually very good for me. But now, wait, are they light? No, wait. Oh, they're not full HP, though. They freeze dry. Live it! Live it! I'm Assault Vest! I'm Assault Vest! They're minus one! I'm Assault Vest! 
Don't freeze! Nice. Probably could have ignored Lapras, actually, seeing that they are Life Orb. I knew that. But now I can go Gengar. And I'm still Focus Ash. And they can't do anything about me. There's nothing they can do. Is Gravity still there? Gravity? Gravity returned to normal, so I'm not going to Hypnosis. I'm not. I'm... How low are you, Talonflame? I could sucker punch you. You're you're flying kind of slow there, like you're like you're very injured. Oh, they have Raichu, bro. I'm about to sucker punch. <laughs> Who wants to die? Raichu, goner. You can't even fake me out, bro. I'm gonna go for the triple axle into this arena. Oh, they're gonna heat wave. Would that KO me? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I'm gonna sucker punch the Raichu. The good helping hand. They 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 totally helping handed heat waved. They just helping handed heat waves. I can feel it in my bones. I threw. I'm a thrower. Throwing. I'm bad. I'm bad at Pokemon. I'm bad. I forgot. They could just do that. They could just helping hand heat wave and I lose. Well, I don't lose. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I have a Draco's on the back. I don't lose, but it's tough. Pick your moves. You have. You have like two options. Go for it, bro. They have no idea. Goodbye. Yeet. Easy. Let's go. Right, you dead. Let's go. Sucker Punch actually getting a KO in 2020 from Gengar? Crazy. Does Zarina live? No. So close. Okay. Cursed Body. Disabled. But now they have Brave Bird, so it's like, whatever. It's like, whatever. Okay. The Tailwind is gone. Drake Result is here. The Talonflame can't hurt me. I'm not worried about Talonflame at all. I don't care. Urshifu can hurt me. They are Dark type. They are Dark type. They go through Protect. I'm just going to go for the Bolt Beak into the Urshifu. I'm also going to go for the Sludge Bomb into the Urshifu. And we're just going to go for it. We're just going to see what happens. I'm, I'm not worried about Talon of them at all. I think that what they do here is they punch, um, they punch Drake Result and they probably Brave Bird Gengar. And there's no way Gengar lives that either. There's not a chance. No way in, like, no way in the world. Gengar dies easy. To a brave bird. Well, maybe. Probably. I mean, they took that psychic pretty well. I guess they had Aurora Veil, but I was plus two. Like, plus two modest, like max special attack. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Burn, burn. Alright. Brave bird. They hit the Gengar. Maybe they hit Draco's. They waited too long. That was a crit. That's. I get that they waited too long, but that really just sucked for me. The Wicked Blow. Don't be Gengar. Heck! No! Uh, my throat. I lost. Uh, I got punched. I'm dead. Okay. Tough. I lost. <laughs> I lost both battles today. But I tried. That's why I lost, by the way. <laughs> I was hoping to say JK. I had the JK loaded and ready to go. And then I missed. Because I have my gravity wore off. Okay. Drake's little fails me when I needed the most. That would have won me the game. If I landed that, I won. I was ready. I, I was ready for the JK. I had it loaded up. I oh, dude. That's that's unfortunate. I'm sad. I'm sad. Miss. Whatever you go for, miss, please. Oh, man. I literally won. Yeah, you can't miss that. Wicked Blow's a stupid move, dude. I should use Urshifu again. This thing's broken. Okay, well, L. L part two. But it's okay, because I think, like, while I did lose, I felt like I played okay in both games. Not amazingly, but okay. So I'm okay with this, and I think the team is okay. So I'm going to call it there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all the fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.